slurs. Uh, I, the next day, I'm always like, yo, <laughs> got me again. <laughs> yeah, why'd so. I do that? Does this work? We're working. <laughs> Is this the intro? Are we live? I like it, I like yeah. it. <laughs> What's up guys, David Hoffman here. Your host, my boy Steve, Clutch Burgers, never basic. Always clutch, baby. And uh, yeah, today we have something really exclusive. What is this? All right, so today we are rocking out with the Golden Delicious. Okay, that's what it's called. This is Captain Lawrence. It's based out of New York and uh, this is a special treat, and I'm excited today that we have this one because it's a limited release, so it's kind of hard to find, and it's walking in at a whopping 11% ABV. Our beers. 11%, baby. Efficiency. Woo! And it's a 16-ounce can. Efficiency, like oh, we man. talk about, brother. This is good. I like this. This is, this is efficiency at its finest when it comes to a delicious golden beverage. Awesome. See so what I did there? I don't... I can't stop with you, dude. <laughs> so, Captain Captain Lawrence Brewing Company is out of New York State. It's, yeah, Westchester County, so short drive from New York City. Golden, delicious. The apple, obviously, the big apple. Then this beer actually was aged in an apple brandy barrel, right? Apple yeah. brandy barrel. Yeah, come on, so, seriously? And it's an American triple? That's what it is? American triple. So, don't know what that means. I don't know if you caught that. Aged in apple brandy barrels. I like that. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be strong. The reason it's strong is because it's soaked up that like I guess it's like almost like raki, like apple fermented apples in a barrel that's distilled, right? right. That was distilled. So it soaks that up and it brings it into this beer. Um, you know, American triple. I have never actually tried an American triple. I don't know exactly what I that means. I don't even know either. All I know is that this this bad boy right here has won a bunch of awards. Um, yes, yeah, is it right here, right? So. It's a Golden Delicious Award Wood and Barrel Aged Strong Beer 2008. So I'm, I'm curious, is this gonna is this gonna have some like, is it gonna taste with a little brandy hint? Is it gonna, oh, yeah, yeah, gonna be able sure. to taste the, the wood? Like, I, like but you've had it, you've had uh, beer that's been aged in barrels. Right? I have, I'm sure. Yeah. I have, I have. They're they're always a they're always, a, <laughs> they're always, I always, they're always a slurs. Uh, I, the next day I'm always like, <laughs> got me again. <laughs> yeah, why did so, I do that? <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. Ah! Woo! Uh, golden release right here. Now nah, this is a 16 ounce, so I'm not gonna be able to pour all this bad boy in here. Woo. Boom. Here we go. I'm excited. Woo. I am pumped. Woo. Barrel aged beer and apple brandy. My friend, we're frosting. Salud. Salud, cheers. Mm. Oh wow. Hey, what about the the nose after that? Mm -hmm. you smell that? Yeah, it's almost it's like apple you cider. You, right? It's almost like you had a little bit of beer, and then chased it with a shot of brandy. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, but it, it was oh, so, so good. good. So good. So good. Whew. Oh, you know what it is? Is the blending beer with like wine and brandy making? It's so unique. What happened? I blacked out. What'd you say? <laughs> I, I said this is the best beer in America. Here. Yeah. If you haven't had this, try to find it. I don't know where you're at, but go look for it. Golden Delicious. It's got this beautiful apple. Um, Captain wow. Lawrence is the brewery. We did a we reviewed another beer a couple weeks ago uh, called by Sun Lab Brewery with Sam. Mm -hmm. Sam was like right here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right here. And uh, Sam actually introduced me to Captain Lawrence. So thank you, Sam, for that. Sun Lab. Uh, they work together and both Savage Breweries. They're all from New York. Uh, this is also one of those uh, independent craft um, labels. So awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah it actually says it right mainstream. here, right? So it says uh, Independent Craft Brewery Association. Well, it's different. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, that means they're badasses. Wow. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, and the yeah. barrels are provided by Lairds? Large? I don't even say that. Let's go with Laird's. Laird's. Okay. Laird's. Laird's. Those are those are the barrels that they soak them in the the, the brandy barrels. Dude, this is literally. Wow. This is like this top five some of the most dangerous beverages I've had in a sense of it's gonna be a creeper and, and you know it from the first sip. For sure. You know 100%. what I mean? Yeah. Like it's, it, if you're if you're not a 
avid drinker, like let's say you usually go out and have a couple beverages, just have one. If you have more than one, you're gonna take an Uber home. Exactly. You know? I'll also eat with this. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? This is a great beverage to pair with food. I mean, that, that apple smell, man. For me, I wonder if this is a limited release, as it says on the can, due to the, the fall season. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, for me growing up in Chicago, we would always, in the fall, we would have, you know, uh, the, the apples with the caramel and all that other stuff. And in high school or college, sorry, in college, we would spike apple juice with whiskey or bourbon or brandy. Because you're from Minnesota? Chicago. Chicago. Okay, Chicago. So, Illinois. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. For me, this is kind of bringing home, bringing home memories right now. Okay. So I'm like, oh yeah, back when I was eight, 21. Uh, <laughs> 18? <laughs> back when I was 21, uh, mixing cocktails. But this is perfectly crafted in my... I mean, it's, it's amazingly, like, the way they did it is perfection. So they put it, the ale, Triple American Triple Ale into the barrel. They let it sit. It doesn't say how long, but it must sit for like something like you know six months to two years. Usually, it's how it works. It soaked up the apple flavor. It definitely will hit you because it's a creeper, like you said. It's like you don't feel it right away. And look at, I like the can. The can's mm. almost like this metallic. Sh it's like glowing. Mm. Yeah. Like if you just killed the lights right now, it'd be like. Yeah, it's like a gold right? bar, like hiding in the. You open your case of your suitcase of gold bricks. It's a suitcase of these. You know what I mean? And like, that should be in one of their commercials. Just like, oh, and the like angels come down and the golden the bars. <laughs> oh my God, this is good. I mean, dude, I'm feeling it, and I've only had a few sips. And this is a 16 ounce, so like, there's a pint right here. Still got a lot here. This is like Christmas, Thanksgiving. Exactly. And Halloween in one can. You can use that. Mm -hmm. You can use that, Captain Lawrence, for marketing materials if you'd like. I mean, this you is so good. And this is definitely one of these drinks where I want to just end the day, sit, relax, maybe watch a movie, a game. Another hey, another point that just, just popped in my head. A lot of times when you drink something that has apple or brandy, it gets you right here, it gets you that, that tart. That tart. It's too tart and you're like, it's like cider. Yeah, you know? Doesn't happen here. It's just smooth. Oh my God. It's all, also, it's like making me not want to stop sipping. Yeah, like It's like, I no, just it's wanna you back. catch right here. Yeah. It's like, just give me the long straw. And you know what? It's cool is that I don't taste too much oak. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these, these oak barrel, uh, aged oak barrel beers, they give you so much oak. But yeah, obviously it pulls flavor. This guy just doesn't stop. What's happening here? Está bueno este. Está buenísimo. Sorry, I'm talking to your wife over here. Yeah. We're speaking different languages in Miami. This, this might make you speak different languages without any practice. American Triple, Whew. aged in apple brandy barrels. Whew. Amazing beer, My 16. Beer. 16 ounces, 11%. You take one, you're out for the count. In the music industry, they say, this one goes to 11. And that's a reference to the volume. It's, it's louder than anything. Louder than time. This one goes to 11%. <laughs> Feels good. Right here. When you want to be right here, it takes you right here. Takes you over that top just a little bit. It's perfect. Oh, I love it. At Captain Lawrence Brewery in New York. Yes. We carry here at Clutch. We carry a lot of their stuff. They've got Tears of Green IPA. We got a bunch of other stuff that they carry. Everything they have is delicious. This, however, during this nice, cool fall weather, it's amazing. Kind of just ties the whole room together. You know. And what is the the cost here for this? This is an eleven dollar, sixteen ounce, eleven percenter. Yeah. So for twenty two dollars. That's it. That's it. Twenty-two two. bucks. You can go to a bar. You spend more than twenty-two dollars. That's all you need. We'll throw a burger on there, and you'll be all right. I'm gonna throw you with a good rating. Nine point five. My oh. highest rating so oh. far. All right. All right. All right. All right uh, that's good. Uh, but I'm, I'm impressed. I I'm mean, happy. It, it's I'm a happy. unique beer, man. It's a. Uh, it's golden and it's delicious. So I mean, nine point five is. So it, I, I'm not gonna argue with you on that. I'm gonna give it a nine. Okay. And the only reason is because I'm super picky. 
And like I said in other uh, interviews, I'm not the biggest fruit. Uh, fruit so in my so beer. The apple. Yeah, the apple. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, I love apples, especially golden apples from New York. <laughs> that they put into this. The, those are the ones I love. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it nine, just just because of that. And uh, okay. yeah, but the 16 ounce, man, you get you gave it a great. I mean. I mean, that's dude, a tough one for me, guys. It's hard for me to get to. I mean, a ten would be like the beer that I want to drink the rest of my life. Yeah. This one's hard because eleven percent, but I love it. Like American triple, so it has that. It has a similar taste to so like a Belgian triple, but not the same. I guess the malt is different, or the yeast they're using is different, but that barrel aged apple brandy. Yeah, I think the other thing for me, which is why I gave it slightly less than you is because I'm not a big brandy drinker in the okay. first place that's the other thing but I actually really enjoy the notes that it brings out here because a brandy is like one of those rare occasions I'm at a wedding or someone has it and everyone else is drinking it or I'm trying to feel bougie right hey, unless you're traveling with me in Albania where every morning we're having brandy oh really <laughs> yeah. so I need to go to Albania <laughs> hey it's an, maybe it's an acquired taste it, it do is it's it? an acquired you have to build on that thing especially because it's so high in alcohol it's like Easily everything's like 40, I, think I, a, I think I had a bad experience in high school drinking it. What? Or in college. I keep I'll, messing that up. I'll bring you some good brandy. Bring me some good brandy. I'll bring you some good brandy. Talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, delicious. Delicious. Like it says. Golden delicious. It, it truly is a delicious beer. My highest rank, 9.5. You give it a 9. I mean, American Triple, 11 percent alcohol from New York, Westchester County. I can't talk like a like a New York. Are you, are you going Boston? I don't know where I'm going. He's having one beer. And he's like, hey yo, meet me at the bar in Harvard Yard. Hey man, salute my brother. Thank you so much. This is an amazing beer. We gotta give a big shout out to this brewery, Captain, Captain Lawrence. Lawrence. Amazing. Hey, gracias, gracias por todo. Gracias. gracias. Well, guys, if you love the video, give me a thumbs up. If you ever drank any beers from Captain Lawrence Brewing or something similar, please leave me a comment below. And if you love the channel, subscribe for more beer content and some more alcoholic beverages. Stay safe, stay clutch. Never basic.